So we have dealt with multiplying whole numbers. We've also talked about how to multiply integers, positive and negatives. We've also talked about how to multiply numbers that involve variables. And today we're going to talk about multiplying an expression within parentheses, which we call the distributive property. Okay, so I'm going to write that out so we can recognize it when we see it. The distributive property also involves multiplication, but instead of just with one number or one variable, it is now having an entire expression that we would multiply by. And so we're going to see what that looks like. So looking at this first expression, 2x plus 5, I'm sorry, 2 parentheses x plus 5, I know that multiplication is a quicker way to write repeated addition. So if I wanted to change this to an addition problem, I see that there are two x plus 5s that we are combining together. So I can rewrite it as x plus 5 plus x plus 5. And we know that we've talked about combining like terms. And so we can use our rules to combine the things that we see that are alike, which I see two x's and two 5s. So that would give me 2x plus 10, because a 5 plus another 5 would be 10. Well, instead of rewriting expressions into addition problems, the distributive property makes it easier to simplify this, these expressions. So what does it mean to distribute? Well, to distribute something can be described best if we picture your teacher from last year passing out papers or distributing the papers to everyone in the class. So the teacher gives each person a paper, right? or they distribute the paper to each person within the class. So if we take this image, we're going to give or distribute the number outside of the parentheses to every single term inside the parentheses. So let's rewrite this again. Two parentheses x plus five. So that means this two here is going to be multiplied by every single term inside the parentheses. So I'm just gonna draw my arrows to show that we are going to multiply the two times the x and then the two times the five. So how can we write two times x? Well, since we don't know what x stands for, we're going to leave it as two x because we know multiplication is secretly in between the two terms. Now we need to multiply two times a positive five, and we know it's positive because it has a plus sign right in front and nothing else in between. So that would be a positive or a plus 10. So is this the same expression we got when we added them earlier? Yes, it is. Therefore, we can use our distributive property as a quicker way to show our multiplication when a number is outside parentheses. Let's try one more. Let's look at D. 7 parentheses x minus 3. So that means I could write x minus 3 seven times, or I can use my distributive property and say I'm going to multiply 7 times x and 7 times a minus 3. So I know 7x is written as or seven times x is written as seven x. And then here is an important part that we have to keep in mind, that this is a minus three, and so we treat it as if it is a negative sign. Therefore, drawing out my tic-tac-toe chart, I see that a positive times a negative gives me a negative answer, and we would write that as a subtraction sign. And what is seven times three? Well, it's 21. So our final expression would be written as seven x minus 21. So let's add these to our chart and you're going to fill the rest out in a draw activity.